Wow, seriously, I just have to ask you, how are you pulling this off? Are you a genius at guessing celeb voices? Then why don't you give some of these underrated characters a try? From the movie that Ariana Grande and Bella Thorne starred in together to Kristen Bell's cool cameo in Zootopia, this list is full of your favorite stars and the movies they rocked. There's even an animated flick that reunited three huge Nickelodeon stars, but can you guess who they are? Let's dive in and find out. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so much fun. The actress who voiced Jay in the Angry Birds movie 2 is best known for being an amazing role model, and also for her time on Dance Moms. She's had a special on Nickelodeon where we got to peek inside of her world, and she's recorded hit songs like Boomerang. So what's your best guess? It's the iconic Jojo Siwa, who didn't only voice Hatchling Jay in the hit movie, but also Kira the Eagle. She spoke to Just Jared Jr. about her characters and said that the trickiest part was matching her voiceover to the already completed animation. She also told them that she hopes Jay eventually gets her own spin-off, and we'd love to see it. Am I floof? Yeah, even your cute little floof. Looks like you're gonna be okay. A Disney Channel star took on the role of Ella in the same movie. This actress is an amazing singer best known for roles in Descendants and Live in Maddie. She's also a phenomenal live performer. She brought her skills to Hairspray Live in the role of Amber Von Tussel. Do you think you know who she is? Of course, it's Dove Cameron, Disney Channel royalty who's definitely got the whole package. Dove's role as Ella isn't her only voice acting credit. She also voiced a superhero. She's the voice of Gwen Stacy, also known as Spider Gwen, in the Ultimate Spider-Man and Marvel Rising TV shows. Everyone's so caught up in dishing out punishment, they never stopped to ask me if I was actually guilty. You definitely know the actor chosen to voice Chuck, another Angry Birds character. He starred in the live-action Beauty and the Beast, and he was on Broadway in the Book of Mormon. But his best role? Probably the voice of Olaf in Disney's Frozen. Think you know who it is? Yep, that's right, it's Josh Gad. He also voiced Lewis in Ice Age Continental Drift and Damon on Bob's Burgers. He was also Wendell the Bug in Phineas and Ferb. Plus, Josh and Kristen Bell, who voices Anna in Frozen, just reunited in Central Park, a new animated show on Apple TV. Rabbit, fish, locust, king pigeon, and of course, downward duck. Ugh. This Disney Channel superstar brought his iconic voice to Lou in Ugly Dolls. You're probably used to seeing him with his brothers on stage and in movies like Camp Rock. So, who is he? It's Nick Jonas, our childhood crush who can pretty much make our hearts melt with one word. So we're not upset at all that he's been getting into voice acting. He and his brothers had another surprise voice acting cameo when they were pretty young. But stick around because we'll tell you more about that a little bit later. Of course, of course, stay here. This singer co-starred with Nick as the character Tuesday. She's super new to acting and voice acting, so you've probably only heard of her from her many successful songs, including In the Name of Love and I'm Gonna Show You Crazy. Think you know who she is? It's Phoebe Rexa, who was also the writer behind some hit singles like Eminem and Rihanna's The Monster. Her role as Tuesday led to her starring in her very first movie, but with a voice like that, we'd love to see Phoebe show off her skills in another feature animation. Look, listen, and learn. This camp rock star won the role of Smurfette in Smurfs The Lost Village. She's a phenomenal singer whose recent single Anyone made huge waves at the 2019 Grammy Awards. And she used to be really good friends with Selena Gomez. The two of them even starred in a Disney Channel original movie together. Any idea who she could be? It's Demi Lovato, the actress turned singer who loved playing Smurfette because they're both fierce and resourceful. Demi actually voiced another animated character in the movie Charming. She played Lenore and was joined by a fellow Disney Channel star, Ashley Tisdale, who voiced Cinderella. We're Smurfs. We do the right thing. The role of Smurf Lily went to this modern family star who has a talent for voice acting. She's also appeared in ER and R.L. Stein's The Haunting Hour, and she just so happens to have the same name as a Disney princess. Who do you think it is? It's Ariel Winter, who's super well known as Alex Dumphy. But she's no stranger to voice acting. She starred in tons of kids' TV shows, though you probably know her best as Gretchen in Phineas and Ferb and Penny in Mr. Peabody and Sherman. We have to take you to Smurfy Grove. Snowflake the White Gorilla is a fun, underrated movie that stars one of the world's most famous singers as Snowflake. She's known for her role in Nickelodeon shows like Victorious, and she's also known for saying thank you next. 
That's right, it's Ariana Grande. We bet you didn't know that she starred alongside iCarly's Jeanette McCurdy, who voiced Petunia, and Nathan Kress, who voiced Elvis. But this isn't Ariana's first big animated reunion with fellow childhood stars. Bella Thorne may be a Disney star, but she joined Ariana as the young version of her character Laura in the Underdogs movie. Ace is just a big bully. Take him down, he'll play! One of Saturday Night Live's biggest cast members took on the role of Lupe, the eccentric goat in Ferdinand. She also does a really good impression of Ellen DeGeneres. Hmm, any guesses? It's Kate McKinnon. Playing Lupe was a dream come true for Kate, and she wants the character to teach kids that staying true to yourself is totally worth it. And fun fact, Kate's actually super good friends with Ellen. She even got a role in Ellen's latest flick, Finding Dory. Try some deep, relaxing breaths, okay? In, in, out. The superstar who voiced Queen Tara in Epic can be described as a queen in real life. She's an iconic singer and she starred in movies like Dreamgirls. So, who is she? It's the one and only Beyonce, who you shouldn't even be surprised is taking on voice acting in addition to all of her other amazing talents. She was recently the voice of Nala in the Lion King live action remake. She also helped put together the movie's entire soundtrack. For a performer that's so incredible in front of an audience, she sure seems just as comfortable behind the scenes. I might have a hard time picking one. Do you have a favorite? This next actress is a surprisingly good singer, which is why she got to voice Ash, the rock star Porcupine, in Sing. Though you probably know her better as an epic Avenger, she's actually voiced a lot of animated characters before, like Princess Mindy in the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. Think you know who she could be? It's Scarlett Johansson. This Black Widow loved being in a film about following your dreams. It's definitely a lighter role than some of her other ones. She was the voice of the sinister snake, Ka, in the live-action Jungle Book, which is a huge deal because all the original movie characters were male, and they came to Scarlett for the role so that they could get more women involved in the remake. You do? Yes. Would you like to see? Since Sing is pretty big on girl power, they got another epic powerhouse vocalist to voice Mina. You might remember her from season 9 of American Idol. She's also won a Grammy for Best Gospel Album for Hiding Place, and she's appeared on Sesame Street. Any guesses? It's the amazing Tori Kelly. With the voice of an angel, it's no wonder she was the perfect pick for Mina. Her favorite and also the most stressful part of the whole process was putting her own spin on Hallelujah. This was her very first voice acting role, but since Tori loved the experience, she'll probably pop up in another animated flick sometime soon. No. I mean, uh, yes, yeah, I, I can sing. Another powerhouse actress took on the role of wife, mother, and secret singer Rosita. This actress has been legally blonde for most of her life, but we all knew she could pull off singing thanks to her well-received role in Walk the Line. So what's your best guess? Of course, it's Reese Witherspoon. She loved the opportunity to play a mother who proves that she is so much more than a housewife. But sing isn't Reese's first shot at voice acting. She also voiced Susan Murphy in Monsters vs. Animals. Aliens. Look, I can't even keep count of the steps. My body parts aren't responding, okay? She's a superstar singer with her own makeup line, but she was also the voice of Tip in the movie Home. Back in the day, she was singing Pone de Replay. Do you know her? It's Rihanna, the Fenty queen who also has some great voice acting chops. She co-starred in this flick with the Big Bang Theory's Jim Parsons, who kept cracking her up behind the scenes. I know, that's why it's fun. No! The actress who voiced Tip's mother, Lucy, is also a successful singer. She's known for getting people on the floor, and she gave a wicked Super Bowl performance in 2019. We think you know who this superstar is. It's Jennifer Lopez, another woman who can really do it all. JLo's no stranger to starring in movies, but did you know that she was also the voice of Shira in the Ice Age movies? As for her role in Home, she was chosen to record the movie's theme song, Feel the Light. So tell me where she is or find me a boo who can. This world-famous pop star used to do a little acting back in the day when she took on the role of Audrey in The Lorax. She's been in Valentine's Day and was featured singing in Hannah Montana the movie. Any idea who she could be? It's singer-songwriter Taylor Swift. She co-starred with Zac Efron and the two had a blast behind the scenes. While she was recently in Cats, she hasn't done a lot of acting lately. Let us know in the comments where you'd like to see Taylor next. Those are trees. They used to grow all around here. We know this voice actress really well. She may have voiced the tiny role of Priscilla the Sloth in Zootopia. 
but she's had a whole bunch of iconic roles, and she's also one of our favorite Disney princesses from Frozen. So, who is she? You're right, it's totally Kristen Bell. She is absolutely addicted to sloth, so the small role of Priscilla was a no-brainer for her. Another underrated role that you might not know Kristen took on is Harper Jambowski, one of Lisa's rich friends in The Simpsons. Oh, I wish it could be like this all the time. We bet you didn't know about this friend star who voiced Sarah Gardner in Storks. In the popular sitcom, she was known for her iconic hair and fashion sense. Any idea who she could be? It's the one and only Jennifer Aniston. She admitted that the most nerve-wracking part of taking the role was having to hear her own voice in surround sound. Don't be crazy, you cannot do the chimney. Come on, don't make me the mean mom. The Brooklyn Nine-Nine star who voiced Jonathan in Hotel Transylvania 3 has done pretty much everything. He's been on Saturday Night Live in a very lonely band, and he's starred in movies like Hot Rod and Popstar, Never Stop, Never Stopping. Think you know who he is? That's right, it's Andy Samberg. Andy has had tons of voiceover roles, and you probably didn't realize that most of these were him. He was Brent McHale in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and Junior in Storks. He was Brett in Bob's Burgers, and Ricky the Raptor in American Dad. I gotta warn you, I played second team co-ed intramural volleyball at Santa Cruz. Who knew that legendary sea monsters could be such good singers? For the role of the Kraken, the Hotel Transylvania crew needed a hip young artist, and it doesn't hurt that he's pretty close friends with co-star Selena Gomez. Oh, and did we mention the superstar is best known for rocking out in a band with his brothers? And that he's also married to a Stark? If you guessed Joe Jonas, then you got it right. This Jonas brother was the perfect choice for a crooning Kraken. But you might be surprised to find out that this isn't Joe's first or most underrated voice acting role. He and his brothers voiced the Cherubs in Night at the Museum Battle of the Smithsonian, where they also got to show off their signature singing voices. In fact, to get things just right, the brothers went to Cherub Boot Camp. That sounds like a once-in-a-lifetime experience to us. He gets the groove going, and everyone's having a great time. It's party time! Which of these voice actors on our list is your favorite? Let us know what other animated movies you'd love to go behind the scenes of in the comments section down below. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to The Things for more. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.